It's a new year and a new chance for you to make a fresh start with your compliance. For the next 31 days on the FCPA Compliance Report, we're going to be bringing you a daily tip, strategy, or idea that you can use to improve your program. Here's your host, Tom Fox, the Compliance Evangelist. Advantages of an internal reporting system. While it is clear that the government expects companies to have an internal reporting system, there are benefits far beyond putting you in the government's good graces. Companies with a more robust internal reporting system generated more reports. No surprise there. Dr. Kyle Welch found a group of companies he termed power users, which were high-level whistleblower reporting systems, which had more activity than the average entity. These power user companies have several interesting characteristics. First, they are typically firms with higher quality earnings reporting. In other words, they are more profitable entities. Additionally, these power user companies are firms with higher quality corporate governance as rated by the entrenchment index, which is used to measure how companies or rather a measure how entrenched management is at companies. It includes items like providing senior management with golden parachutes, poison pills for acquisitions, staggered board terms and staggered board elections. So that if you have a board election, it makes it harder, harder to turn over the entire board of the directors. All of these factors go into the index. Conversely, companies which have a more limited user of whistleblower reporting systems were companies that are seen to have poor governance. They are also prone to more financial accounting issues, such as discretionary accruals, which could prove problematic. They are usually smaller and less mature firms, and their overall compliance programs were generally not seen as robust or as effective as those in larger, mature organizations. Finally, these firms, probably because they were smaller and less mature, are more prone to extreme growth and problems associated with trying to scale up quickly. All of this leads to a notation that the reduction in the material litigation costs, including regulatory enforcement actions, criminal sanctions sought by the Department of Justice, and all other court proceedings, both civil and criminal, when you overlay that a material finding would have to be 5% of a company's gross margin, that amount is quite high. Companies with robust reporting systems also have 4% fewer lawsuits. The year hotline activity increases, improving to 6.9 fewer lawsuits over the next three years. Additionally, overall lit litigation settlements of non-material matters drop almost 20% over three years. Clearly, this demonstrates the power of a robust whistleblower reporting system. Obviously, chief compliance officers can use this type of information to demonstrate the efficacy of an internal whistleblower reporting system going forward. It also provides the CCO with actionable information to prevent, detect, and remediate those issues before they become full-blown legal violations. Conversely, the lack of information can lead to compliance-related inquiries. A robust reporting system has a positive impact right up to the board of directors. A more active engagement and more reporting is a good thing for it signals to both senior management and the board information about corporate culture. The second thing is direct unfiltered information that a reporting system can provide to a board of directors. One of the key corporate government's failures over a wide casting of recent corporate scandals has been the withholding of information to boards by senior management. Just think about how this could have changed the calculus at Wells Fargo and Bluebell Ice Cream had they been made aware of whistleblower reports of fraudulent conduct. Also remember the Volkswagen board who found out about the admissions testing scandal when reading about the company's admissions in the newspaper. Now the board can have, report, can have an internal report with direct information. Finally, a robust whistleblowing reporting system speaks to the functioning and ethical corporate culture. Employees can report issues in a fair manner without the fear of retaliation are more empowered to make the company run more efficiently and, at the end of the day, more profitably. One of the reasons employees report internally is they want to stay at the company. 
Such a culture also attracts more employees, not an inconsequential consideration in this age of the gig economy. Finally, and as I mentioned from the accounting perspective, an effective reporting system can add to, aid to rather, prevent accruals from financial statements. The more accruals there are going forward, the greater chance there is for financial manipulation of fraud. One of the key findings was that companies that did not have a, at least an average whistleblower reporting system were more likely to have such issues. It may be due to the firm maturity or commitment, but it's still a problem. All of this points to one unmistakable conclusion. A robust whistleblower reporting system facilitates a company's resolution of problems before they become major problems or even legal violation, which might bring the Securities and Exchange Commission or the Department of Justice calling. So what are today's three key takeaways? Number one. Companies with a robust whistleblower reporting system have shown to have greater profitability and workforce productivity as measured by return on assets. Number two, there are fewer material lawsuits brought against a company overall, and there are lower settlement costs if lawsuits did occur, not an insignificant finding. And finally, there are fewer external whistleblower reports to regulatory agencies and other authorities. The impact of that is clear. If someone is reporting internally, it gives you the chance to remedy or fix the problem before it becomes a legal violation. So this is always something that compliance officers, compliance professionals, and compliance practitioners want, which is more internal reporting. Finally, with this information, you're able to improve a wide variety of areas for your company. It's not simply preventing and then detecting issues which could become legal violations, but it's also if people feel free or confident to raise their hand and speak up, they can bring ideas for you to make the company more efficient. This is Tom Fox. I hope you will enjoy this month's offering on hotlines and investigations. A 31 days to a more effective compliance program. If I could ask you to do, would you pass on to at least one person this podcast series on the nuts and bolts of compliance as I'm trying to expand my audience base for 31 days to a more effective compliance program. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow where I take up another topic in innovation and compliance. Thanks again for listening. 31 days to a more effective compliance program is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.